In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and set up ROS2 Humble on Ubuntu 22.04. So let's start with one terminal here. I have opened one terminal on the left and on the right, you can open a web browser and just search for, for example, install ROS2 Humble. And you will get to the documentation of ROS2 Humble. So docs.ros.org, and then you can search if you don't have this exactly for ROS2 Humble and then the installation section. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And you see that we can choose to install with binary packages. That's what we're going to choose. And choose here Debian packages. So Ubuntu Debian. Now we can go down and I'm going to show you the commands that you need to run, which ones are important, which ones are not, etc. So first you can type local and if you type locale and you have UTF-8, that's correctly working. If not, then you will need to run those comments. So only if you don't see UTF-8. So I run those comments. And then that one. And then, so let's wait. This one. And then that one. And then if you do locale, you should see, of course, UTF-8. Then for that, well, at the time when you see the video, some of the comments here might be a bit, slightly bit different, but that's not really a problem. Just follow the comments that you will see uh, actually when you are on the screen here of the documentation. So if you run that one, that one maybe in the future will be removed, but if you run that one, you should see something like 500, here you have different lines with 500 and with universe. Okay, you should see stuff with like, for example, Jammy universe. Well, if you see that, then that's okay. You see 22.04 here. I have AMD 64 universe. Well, everything is good. If not, you will need to run those two comments. So this is only if you see that on the documentation, maybe it's going to be removed. Who really knows? And then that's the important part. So I'm going to do clear. You're going to add the ROS2 apt repository to your system so let's run this first command to make sure we have the correct tools okay it's gonna install stuff so yes and then you have a curl command to download some stuff and then add the repository to the sources so basically you just copy and paste those three commands here and now you have the sources what does that mean well if you do sudo apt update let's do that you can see that now so before i had the normal archive ubuntu.com sources but now i have stuff like packages.ros.org with ros2 ubuntu so if you see this then you have correctly updated the new sources and now you can install ros2 and before that let's actually do sudo apt upgrade to make sure that our system is correctly up to date so I have zero thing to upgrade, but if you have, please do upgrade before you install ROS2. And then let's do clear. Then we can install ROS2. And here you see you have two choices. You have ROS Humble Desktop and ROS Humble ROS Base. So ROS Base contains just the minimum to run ROS. So the communications, etc., but no graphical tools. Okay, no graphical tools and probably less debugging and introspection tools. So that can be good if you run ROS2 on a limited system, for example, on a Raspberry Pi. It will not have the same power as, for example, this laptop I'm running uh, right now. But if you want to run ROS2 with everything included so that you can directly start with uh, graphical tools, etc., and especially if you are learning ROS2 and installing ROS2 for the first time on your computer, I recommend to install ROS2 Desktop. And so you can just run this command. And actually you see it's ROS Humble. It's not written ROS2, but this ROS Humble is actually ROS2. Okay, it's a ROS2 distribution. So I press enter and well, here that's gonna be huge. You can see I need to download more than 700 megabytes of archives. And then it's gonna add almost three gigabytes of additional space. So let's put yes. Make sure you have enough space, of course. Let's put yes and let's wait for a few minutes all right i know ros2 is installed but that's not all you need to do in order to be able to use ros2 just a quick note here before we continue 
is that you can see to install ROS2, we did ROS-Humble. So for the Humble distribution, you do ROS-Humble-something. And so this is actually a collection of many packages. Okay, you have seen we have many packages that were installed. And if you want to install any package independently, you will just need to do so sudo apt install ROS-Humble-name of the package. For example, here you have, let's take this example, ROS-Humble-RQT-MSG. So if you want to install that package independently, so this one is already installed, but if you find another one, you will just need to modify the end of the command. So that's very easy. And now, well, ROS2 is installed, but you need to set up the environment so you can run it. Because right now, if I do ROS2, you can see ROS2 command not found. So ROS2 is installed, but ROS2 command not found. So you need to actually source a setup.bash script in order to be able to run ROS2. And so ROS2 has been installed. So if I do clear, if I go to slash opt ROS, here you will have all ROS distributions that you install. And you can see I have humble, and in humble I have setup.bash. I need to source this script in order to be able to use ROS2. So let's do CD and let's actually just yeah, run this. Great, and now ROS2 is sourced, so I can do ROS2. So if I do ROS2, you can see I will have, so this is a usage for ROS2 command, but which means that ROS2 has been found. So I can do, for example, ROS2, let's do a simple command. Okay, ROS2 run demo nodes CPP, and then talker. Okay, so just run this command, and you will see here we have a ROS2 node, so that's something that's working. So now we can confirm that we have correctly set up the environment for ROS2. And now just one thing is that if I open a new window, and if I do the same command here on that new window, you will see ROS2 command not found. Why is that? Because you need to set up, so you need to set up the environment and source that script every time you open a new terminal or in other words every time you open a new session and so a very convenient thing to do is to open so let's open the bash rc with jedit so open your bash rc file which is actually uh, if you want the complete path it's in your home directory slash dot bash rc this file will be executed when you open a new session or when you open a new terminal. You can go at the very end and add a new line, which is gonna be that one. So let's copy and paste that line inside the bash rc. Now you can save, okay? And let's, so let's keep this line here. I'm gonna copy it with Control, Shift, and C. Let's close all the terminals. Let's open a new one. And now before we would have ROS2 command not found, but now I can see that it is correctly working because this line has been sourced when I opened the terminal from the bash RC. So now I could run something from ROS2. Great, so now you have ROS2 correctly installed and correctly configured on your computer. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn ROS2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.